Hey, how you doing? I wanted to encourage you today. I wanted to remind you that as a born again child of God, you are perfect and entire wanting nothing. So you please God all the time. You have a soul and this soul has to decide whether or not you're going to follow your spirit or you're going to follow this guy. Now this guy is sensual. He only operates by what he sees, hears, smells, tastes, and feels. Okay. So he's very sensual. So all of a sudden you find yourself as a born again person and maybe sickness tries to come on you. And this guy wants to line up with the word of God. He's going to be, you know, by his stripes, we were healed. That same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in me, quickening my mortal flesh, making alive my mortal flesh. He's all for the will of God, the word of God. This guy's going to have to make a decision. And this guy's over here going, but I don't feel. What did the doctor say? Oh, look. And he's going to totally be into that. And it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for you to decide who are you going to go with. You're going to tell this guy to shut up and you're going to go with this guy. Or you're going to tell this guy to shut up and you're going to go with this one. Your outcome depends on the choice you make right here. You know, whenever um, the temperature in your room is not what you want it to be. Maybe it's too hot and you go over and you bump down the thermostat. Well, forces you don't know, forces you're unaware of, forces you don't understand the process go into action. And in just a little while, it takes some time, but in just a little while, it manifests a new temperature in your environment. That's the same thing that happens here. When you exercise your faith, you can change the, cir the circumstances. You can bring them into what you want them to be. You have the power to do that. God's given it to you. But we have to make a choice. I want to encourage you today. Start trying to listen to this guy and telling this guy to sit down and shut up. Because we want to live in victory. Amen.